Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. You're in for a treat today because you're looking at the supercar of luxury watches. This is the Richard Mille RM35 Rafael Nadal, also known as the Little Nadal. Along with the RM27, this is one of two models developed hand-in-hand -hand with the international tennis star and championship caliber player to withstand the rigors of professional match play, including up to 400 Gs on the wrist. Now, personally, I'm glad this one's known as the Little Nadal, because if they called it the Little Richard, I don't think I'd be able to take it seriously. But make no mistake, this thing is a serious piece of high horology. First and foremost, you've got to talk about the wrist impression, because that is the highlight. The reason this thing is called the Little Nadal is not because it's in any way a diminished version of the 27, but because it's incredible lightweight makes this thing a standout, and its ergonomics make it something of a singular achievement in high horology. Because although it's almost 50 millimeters from lug to lug, the entire watch only weighs about 50 grams. How light is that? Well, if you take the movement inside a Panerai Luminor, it weighs about as much as this entire watch. That's the entire watch. That's the strap, the case, the buckle, the crystal. The bottom line is that this is an incredible achievement in mechanical engineering and materials science. But first and foremost, I want to tell you that it's also an ergonomic triumph. On my wrist, this watch, incredibly lightweight, is also cambered and it bends over my six and a third inch wrist, that's 16 centimeters for those using the metric system. It kind of meets me halfway in as much as it curves to meet the curvature of my wrist. But because this advanced natural rubber vulcanized strap is also honeycomb cut out, it's more supple than your average Richard Mille strap, so you can bend it to a small wrist and it'll conform more easily. Incredible suplex, because of that signature Richard Mille tonneau case, it spreads its mass, its very, very slight mass, very evenly, making it feel even lighter than it is. It's an absolute pleasure to wear. And this thing kind of offers the highest ratio of visual impact to mass, I would say, in the entire Richard Mill line. That beautiful plasma-coated, plasma ceramic-covered, aluminum-magnesium alloy case is a standout stunner. And yet, if you close your eyes, you might not even know it's on your wrist. You might even forget it's there. This is the kind of watch that's going to incite an occasional panic attack because it's so comfortable, it's so light, you're going to think that it's fallen off when you think about it without glancing first. And the bottom line is a lot of science goes into that. Let's just talk about the materials you're looking at here. You're looking at 90% magnesium, about 10% aluminum, and that's the case. Now, a special plasma arc depositing process actually turns the outside of that into a ceramic coating with a hardness of about 2,000 Vickers. Just for comparison, the only thing that's definitely harder and can reliably scratch this watch is diamond. So stay out of contact with diamond graving tools and you should be okay. And the bottom line is that's just the beginning. The flange with the calibrations inside the crystal outside of the movement, that's made of carbon fiber. The bolts you're looking at are made of titanium. The plates of the skeletonized RMUL1 movement themselves are also made of titanium. And of course, let's not forget that gorgeous natural rubber super supple strap. There's a lot of materials technology going on here, folks, and Richard Mill makes all of it count. Now, it's not just a great looking watch, it's also incredibly tough. As stated, this one was proven in the rigors of professional match play in championship caliber matches where, believe me, Rafael Nadal was not holding back for the sake of his watch. There were bigger fish to fry, there were bigger prizes at stake. So this watch has made it through that kind of foul play. And the bottom line is, those are the kind of situations where even the Rolex comes off the wrist. That's how tough this lightweight is. So, figuratively speaking, it's no lightweight, even if literally it really is. And a big part of that is the skeletonization of the movement. Now, the movement itself actually weighs less than one U.S. nickel coin. 4.3 grams, it is incredibly light. 4.3 grams is nothing, and the fact that all the same, it's as sturdy as it is, is a triumph of engineering. And yet, no corners are cut. This watch has been passed through the Laboratoire du Poids SA Chronofiable test, 21 days of advanced aging in which it's subjected to freezing temperatures, broiling heat, uh, several different temperatures in between, shocks up to several G. Uh, it's been aged in moisture, it's been aged in every position, basically simulating six months of exposure to extreme elements. And the watch is bench tested 
before all these, shall we say, trials. And then it's reviewed afterwards. And the bottom line is that this movement hasn't just survived tennis matches at the highest level with flying colors, but laboratory stress tests designed to bring out the worst. And again, there really is no bad bone in this watch's body. And a big part of that is a fundamentally strong architecture. Richard Mill took no chances here. This is a manually wound watch. And you can see that when you wind it, you actually see the mainspring barrels moving. Those dual barrels ensure two things. First of all, toughness. There's no winding system to be compromised by shocks. And second, consistent torque, so that through the rigors of high impact, through the rigors of the Dubois laboratory tests, the watch is going to give a consistent supply of torque to keep the accuracy, to keep the isochronism consistent. The bottom line is that this is not just a consistent and accurate and durable movement, though it is beautifully finished. And that's what's often forgotten about Richard Mill. There is a lot of traditional watchmaking craft and finish in here that would impress even the likes of Patek Philippe. Now the keyless works, this being a manual wind watch, you can see the keyless works just inboard of the calibrated flange, just inboard of the crown here. It's actually black polished. So at any angle, except the one in which it reflects light directly, that incredible degree of polish, the highest degree that you can find on a watch movement, actually appears black, and you can see how it sort of fades into and out of view as that reflective angle is achieved. Now, there's a combination of sandblasting, straight graining, radial graining dressage. There's also a PVD deposit on the titanium skeletonized bridges. There's a lot of depth here. You don't look at a Richard Mill dial so much as you look into it. You look down through it. The depth is part of the pleasure of owning and admiring a Richard Mill, and from these oblique angles, you can really appreciate that. And with double-sided anti-glare coating on the crystal, you get an excellent view of the works. Richard Mill would have it no other way. This is a watch that embodies the best of everything. Materials, engineering, finishing, and ergonomics. Realistically, even a pro tennis star can't do any better. That's why they call it the, the Nadal. And I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the black watch look, and I'm not necessarily a Richard Mille fanboy. It's hard for me to get excited about watches that are so non-traditional, because i got to admit, I'm a bit of a retro grouch. But this thing exudes an energy and an elan that is just unique, and you can't help but get excited about it. This watch, this Richard Mille RM35 Nadal, is available with 100% original documentation and factory accessories. Now, Richard Mill likes to showboat, so the watch does actually come with an exhibition watch winder, in, the, in spite of the fact that it is a manually wound watch. If you want to put it on display, it's perfectly suitable for that, but it's an interesting added value item that you get when you buy this RM35 Little Nadal from us at Watch You Want. Perhaps little, but only in name. The RM35 is a stunning achievement and a testament to why Richard Mill is considered the absolute top of the line in modern high-tech sports watch technology.